Good Morning Richmond starts now. Welcome back to Good Morning Richmond Weekend Edition. I'm Rachel Keller and the time now is 8.30 on our Sunday morning. Here to preview the conditions here in Central Virginia. Storm Checker 8 meteorologist David Williams. 31 year old Brandon Hyde is accused of soliciting inappropriate photos from a teenager during his time working for the department. 8 News reporter Laura Perron joins us live with those details. Laura? Ice and snow are on the roads everywhere, leading to deadly driving conditions. At least five people were killed in a massive pileup in Fort Worth this morning. Take a look. Family members of 19-year-old Zykeria Neal are heartbroken after she was found dead here at the Oyo Hotel in Petersburg earlier this year. And although her death was caused by an asthma attack, her grandmother says that she partly blames the hotel. Well, many enjoying their Labor Day this weekend, but before you settle into vacation mode, officials want you to be aware of the continued COVID-19 dangers. While the state still pushes for people to get vaccinated, it's unclear if the new mask guidance will convince people to get shots. There's no enforcement mechanism in case someone lies about their vaccination status. The stadium is so big and still social distance. But I, I'm just focused on this bird. <laughs> well, in Rico County, police say for the most part, things have been pretty fortunate here in the county. There was no injuries, very minimal crashes, but it was a different story for the folks here on Galaxy Road here in Lakeside. One tree and the residents at this home waking up to a tree falling on their car. You can see here of what's left of the tree trunk. Consumers are also eating more soups. And using more meal kits and mayonnaise. Ooh. Hmm. So uh, <laughs> we're going to have to reverse that. I'm going to need people to go and get some deodorant. A panel of independent experts has voted to recommend the Johnson & Johnson vaccine for emergency authorization. You'll notice gift wrapping paper still left in the mud after holiday celebrations. One resident calling the dumping ground a health risk as it's located right next to a playground. Frustration is growing among customers still in the dark. 8 News reporter Alex Thorson is investigating and joins us live in Chesterfield. When the shooting happened last night, the manager here at Little Food Mart says that his convenience store was busy. One of the victims had been shot in the arm and rushed inside. And over the last two days, several of the Confederate monuments have been struck down from their pedestals. The CDC is reporting that one in six adults in the U.S. have been fully vaccinated. Many Americans are feeling safe to travel again, and on Friday, the TSA screened nearly 1.5 million people. This event is free and open to the public starting at 10 this morning. Donations to Richmond Animal Care and Control will also be accepted. And you're encouraged to donate new or gently used towels, blankets, dog collars and leashes, maybe some cat litter, toys, and of course, wet cat food. So a lot going on here on this Saturday morning. Meteorologist David Williams here bright and early for us, mm -hmm. making sure we know what's going on outside. Additional charges have been brought up against 20 year old Tykira Reed. The child's family says that Reed was hired as a babysitter now calling her a predator. In a normal situation, Chesterfield bus drivers would have just taken their children on the bus with them. But as the district returned to virtual learning, many drivers were faced with the decision to either stay home and take care of their children or put food on the table. Now we've reached out to Councilwoman Kristen Larson for comment. Meanwhile, next week the city will be hosting three separate virtual meetings, one on the Bally's proposal, the other on the proposal from the Cordish companies and the other proposal from Urban One. That information on how you can call into those meetings is on our website, WRIC.com. Live in Richmond, Rachel Keller, 8 News. 2020, a year that brought trauma and uncertainty, but also hope and room for change. While many businesses closed their doors, the Martin Agency in Shaco Bottom found a way to thrive. Ad Week naming the agency the 2020 U.S. Agency of the Year. This past fall, the business welcomed new Chief Creative Officer Danny Robinson, the company's first African American to hold the position. Robinson is responsible for the agency's overall creative direction. People are bombarded with thousands and thousands of ads every day. So, in order to break through, you have to do something. Inside the building, you'll find the company's mantra on the wall, 
we fight invisibility. One of the most talked about brands grow faster than brands that aren't talked about. Recently yes. premiered. Oh, me hungry. A Martin Agency DoorDash ad featuring actor David Diggs and the Cookie Monster. The Super Bowl Sunday teaser took off on Twitter, but this isn't Robinson's first rodeo. He worked on rapper Jay-Z's commercial for Heineken in the early 2000s, in addition to a number of ads for brands like Chevy, Geico, and an Oreo mini short film. Hired by the agency in 2004, Robinson's recent promotion caught him by surprise. After the announcement, the, the replies I got and the, and the text and the LinkedIn comments from young, particularly young black men in the business, um, I quickly realized that it was had more meaning than just me being promoted to the position, but that I had I had ultimately responsibility. He says people of color have been underrepresented in the advertising industry, and this particular career wasn't on his radar growing up. And I think one of the reasons people who look like me don't get into business is they don't. They don't see role models. Three years ago, he started the journey for equal representation at the Martin Agency because he knew change was a priority. He believes better work is created when there's a diverse workforce. You have to think about who's, who's in the room when it's created. Uh, and even maybe more important, if those people aren't in the room, do they ever get created? In Richmond, Rachel Keller, 8 News.